second in the case of worldly attachment we find that in proportion to one's love for a particular object one's capacity to love others diminishes not only that in pursuing the interest of such narrow and selfish love one often becomes greedy calculating and callous to the interests of others in the holy mother there was not the slightest trace of this renunciation liberality and a childlike simplicity were second nature with her all through life in fact her relatives complained that she was too liberal with her possessions without any consideration for the future and everyone who moved closely with her found that while she doted on radhu on the one hand she also showed on the other an infinite capacity to shower sweet love and maternal tenderness on her disciples and devotees as the conversations in the gospel of the holy mother amply show no one could move with her without feeling that she was one's own mother and much more in fact her heart was as broad as the ocean itself the salt existing throughout the ocean may be a little concentrated in some particular area but the very vastness of the ocean assures us that because of this concentration there is no diminution of its salinity elsewhere so also the element of love permeating her limitless heart remained unaffected by the little concentration of it with reference to certain persons brought about by the special conditions of her life in this respect the holy mother's attachments stand in striking contrast to the worldly attachments of ordinary people